Hey, what is up everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you this early morning on New Year's Eve. Late last night, I found out that the San Francisco 49ers went up against the Seattle Seahawks. Tonight, I had no clue. I mean, I feel like a horrible fan. Last week, um, I, I made my, my video about the Rams versus the 49ers. I uploaded it on uh, Saturday morning, talking about the fact they played on Sunday and they played on Saturday. I think it was cool that they get to play on Christmas Eve rather than playing on Christmas in the holiday. Um, but uh, here they are. You know, New Year's Day is normally run by college football. You got uh, little Alex out there uh, texting me about the University of Washington, the college that he attends, uh, playing Alabama. And now here we are today. His Seahawks are taking on my 49ers. So maybe he will be so consumed with the fact that uh, the, <laughs> that Washington plays Bama tomorrow, that I won't get any flack tonight when the Seahawks run a train over my San Francisco 49ers. Um, we won last week. I mean, it's not like anybody really cared. <laughs> You're going to finish your season 2 and 14. It is what it is. Um, the uh, Browns won a game, uh, but I guess even if we lose and the Browns win this week, um, the uh, the Browns will still get the number one pick. So the number two isn't that bad. Um, I don't think that a win hurts us. Um, so, I mean, the 49ers can go out there and try their damnedest. Uh, for some reason, Stanley is going to come back and uh, he's going to hold down the offensive line for us. He hasn't played in the last three weeks after not missing a game uh, in years. But uh, we'll have to see what goes down with that. Um, I don't want anybody dying to finish out the 2016-2017 season here. Um, we're not going to the playoffs. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes in the off season, uh, whether that's Chip Kelly, God, pray we get a new GM. Um, this team needs a lot of help. This team needs a lot of changes. Um, pretty much the only positions that I think we're set at would probably be running back. I wouldn't mind seeing Colin Kaepernick come back next year. Um, when they restructure his deal, it's going to be up to him. He's going to be able to go out there on the open market. I don't know anybody that needs a starting quarterback other than maybe the the Browns, the uh, the Jets. I, I can't really think of anybody else out there unless somebody's retiring, somebody's leaving. The Texans probably want to spend some money on a quarterback. Um, maybe the Broncos want to move up, um, but. I mean, there's not a lot of jobs out there where you can go guaranteedly start. If we don't draft a quarterback in the first two rounds, I think that the job is at least going to be able to compete for, and I wouldn't mind seeing Colin Kaepernick come back to, to try for that. Um, I don't think that he is the reason why the Niners have blown up this way. I think you, you bring this down, this is bad moves by Valky. Um Kaepernick doesn't have anybody to throw the ball to. Gabbard didn't have anybody to throw the ball to. The offensive line, you know, at the, the, the Jets game, um, when we ran crazy, we, we ran for 170 yards. Um, Carlos Hyde ran for, um, and we still lose. That sucks. But um, one thing after another, I mean, this has been a bad season, and I'm glad to put it into rest. Um, the only thing I'm happy for is that we ran into the Los Angeles Rams, not once, but twice, week one and week 16, um, we get our wins. There's not much to say about the Seahawks other than that they're a damn good football team. Um, you know, they, they've had their ups, they've had their downs throughout the season, but they've had more ups. They're a team that I wouldn't want to mess with going into the playoffs. They're a team that I wouldn't want to pick against in the playoffs. They're definitely showing signs that they're not the team that they once were, but they're also a team that you don't want to mess with. So they're probably going to win today. We're probably going to lose today. As far as I've heard, there hasn't been a Seahawks outcry basically saying that they don't need to win this uh, game because they've won their division. They're, they're not playing for anything. So as far as I know, everybody um, from Russell Wilson to the rest of the cast of stars is going to be playing. So 
it's probably going to be a bad day to be a San Francisco 49er fan. And if I'm here at the house, I'll have the game on. But I'm not going out of my way to watch this game. Put this under wraps. Let's get to the draft. Let's get to the offseason. Let's start putting a team together. And let's see what 2017 could be.